So today's video ended up being a lot different than what I originally planned on because my initial plan had been to hunt Ibex over the weekend, try to get respawns, and then do one more hunt today where we try to complete the Diamond Grand Slam, but I was actually lucky enough to find the last piece to that Grand Slam just while I was doing the grinding, and like I said, that was lucky. I mean, it didn't take that long at all, but then a bunch of other craziness kind of happened as I was going along, and I thought I would just kind of include all that in one video, so let's get into that. I guess it's not insanely lucky because it's on my own map and eventually I would have found it again. But I just dropped three Ronda Ibex out here, you can see them laying. And then a five just came trotting into my view nervous, I'm not exactly sure where he got to. But it was the highest score estimate I've ever seen on a Ronda since the new system and I think it may actually be a diamond, I'm just trying to figure out where he got to. But he was coming back in here nervous, and I don't even know what spooked him. I kind of think it's a pack of wolves that lives up in here. Actually, it's the pack that we shot our albino off of on the Twitch stream, but... Yeah, he must be in the brush right now. But, yeah, the work on respawns has evidently paid off in spawning a five. Hopefully we can locate him and get him, but... I don't know where he actually went. Okay, that's him down there. And yet... Yeah, 123, I want to say the highest I've seen as a score estimate for one of these in all the grinding I've done is like 114 or something. So he's well above that, and he's just nervous drinking, so if we scoot in here to 150, I think I'll be comfortable taking that with the M1, and we could actually have our all-diamond Grand Slam uh, on the new scoring system. If this guy's going to make it, did their drink time end? No. I don't really know where he's off to. That's not my M1. Got that confused because I switched my loot out earlier, but... I don't know where he's going. Now I don't see him at all. Alright, so I don't know where he was hiding in there, but he managed to end up running past me. I'm going to see if he ends up stopping up on that hill. Because Ibex do that a lot. Where they end up climbing up on a mountain and then you actually end up getting a shot. So... I'm gonna hope he turns broadside up here, like, while he's fleeing. Because there's a lot of room for him to do that. Like, that's kind of stopped, but I want him to go attentive. It still says fleeing. Okay, now he's nervous, though, so he's not gonna keep running around. And that should do it. Got a dead one here, so I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. So I probably deleted my drink zone by shooting that fourth one, but... I mean, as long as he does make it, effectively, <laughs> I don't need this zone anymore because... I don't really have any reason to go after Ronda Ibex again, but I guess he must have just been perfectly hidden, like, down in this brush. Because I snuck all the way along there and could not see him. And I kept looking like I had my map up to see where I had last spotted him, but he looks pretty good. I certainly haven't seen one that looks anywhere near that good in all of the grinding I've done. Get a quick screenshot of that. Like I said, highest score estimate I've seen, so hopefully he makes it. And he does, not by a ton, I believe 107 is the the requirement, and he's 109.8, but kind of unique. He's definitely not, like, perfect. Got that left lung liver, and that is the all-diamond Grand Slam completed. Now, I think for the rest of the time until this video goes up, I actually will continue hunting southeastern Spanish Ibex and see if I can get a better diamond, and if I don't, we're just going to go with what we have, because... Uh, I've said it a bunch of times now, I shot one, like, once the new scoring system came out that was almost max weight, but they literally couldn't even make diamonds, so, I don't know. I felt like that was a decent, like, uh, reason to accept the level 4 that we shot. But we'll go ahead and claim these other ones that I dropped over here before that 5 showed up, and, yeah. Not too bad, uh, finally got that done as well. So I know they weren't actually in the video, but... We had a three, and I think, actually, this was a three as well. And the funny thing is, this zone is where I killed my first and only other diamond runda. Um, I think I probably even had my tent set up over here by then. It was just over in here, and it was the same deal. I believe I spooked him and shot him somewhere, like, up in that area, which is kind of interesting. But, yeah, runda grind is done. So, go figure. Actually, there's two really big... Uh, Bethides down here, but the 5 is slightly higher scoring according to the estimate. 
I came up here to clear pressure because I literally just started my Ronda run when we killed that diamond one down there, so I have a lot of pressure at my southeastern lakes. I got attacked by a pack of wolves down here on my last run, so I wanted to clear a little pressure, and I always do it up here because there's just so many Ibex, but I definitely want to try to get that five because he's the gray color, and I don't have a diamond gray one, and that may add some variance. I'd have to see what the other diamond... Um, Ibex we have are as far as their uh, fur variations, but it's still gonna be displayed as common But that's about 350 meters That's a bow. I don't think we're gonna be taking a 350 meter bow shot But I feel like if we aim like right at his spine essentially We should be okay with the M1. So I'm gonna let him do that weird little drink thing again And hopefully yeah, that got him really good Probably spinal cord to be honest, but I think that'll be okay. And this guy doesn't seem to know anything happened. So maybe I shouldn't aim as high. Well, that one worked too. All right. So could be the case that once again, we have two diamond bathetes because that happened to me in one of my other pressure clearing runs when I didn't know that level fours could even make diamond. But yeah, I'll worry about pressure later. Let's go see what these are. I guess if they're all gonna like stay here though, go ahead and get at least one. Yeah, they tend to take off pretty quickly, so we'll just take the one and not have to track them, but a little bit of extra pressure that's going to save me some time. Yeah, so this is the five, because he's the grayer color, and he is a diamond, 196, 191's diamond, so he's smaller than our other level five. But like I said, the little bit of fur variance in that multi-mount could end up looking pretty cool. Is there any way of, like, getting his horns in the trophy shot I don't really think there is so we'll sort of do it like that I guess just for a screenshot and I think the four was only one point different on his score estimate so this would have been that one we just shot or no they were standing that close together all right that's kind of weird but I mean another diamond bathetes they seem to be very common with the fours making it and then this will be the one that we just shot so yeah, once again, two diamond with because I came up here to clear hunting pressure. I guess that's going to happen, because I'll shoot like 20 of them to clear pressure sometimes, but... Yeah, now we got some options for our multi-mount. I swear this is one of those hunts where I should have just recorded the entire thing, but... That's the thing about grinding for certain animals, usually it's completely boring and uninteresting, but... Some of the times, like today, it's just a lot of really cool stuff happening at once, so... This is the lake where I first started trying to get a diamond euro hair, but I ended up killing one up here before I even came back for respawns, and evidently, uh, had I not gone up there, we'd ended up with one fairly quickly, so it's a little bit far for a 22 shot. I'm actually going to scoot around the edge here, but just so you can see, I just shot those Bethidia's Ibex, and I thought I'd do some euro hair uh, shooting for respawns there, but our two diamonds are down there on the latest harvest, and... Uh, Euro hair start drinking right after Ibex do, so that's why I did this, and go figure, we have another pretty interesting uh, animal to go after. You know what I just thought of? We're going to be sneaking in there close anyway, for no reason whatsoever. I'm going to try to kill that with the bow, so I have the 300 grain uh, small game arrows, and I mean, why not? I got to go over here, we might as well make it a little more interesting, and that one is, like, it's still going to stay common. But our other one, which is also a common, was like the common gray color. Whereas this one was a common brown, so it would actually be a little bit different. But I marked where it was. I think those warning calls must be other ones. Alright, let's try here. That's the one. That's another one. That's a two. Where is she at? Oh, behind the tree there. Okay. So she's right at 20. Zero for that. And maybe I'm a little on the left of her body. Nice! Alright. I think I can honestly say I've never shot a diamond rabbit with a bow, so... If that makes it, that would be kind of cool. You can see the arrow, that actually looks perfect. You know what? Just because, like I said, I've never done it. Get a nice, like, up-close view of that small game uh, head that we shot her with. And, let's see. Another diamond rabbit for the lodge with a different fur color? Yeah! 6.6 .6 again, uh, which was the same score as the last one. Double lung with the bow. 
That is actually kind of cool. I'm actually really happy I decided to do that. I just, like, remembered I had the bow in my inventory. That's really cool. Cool way to actually do that. This is just starting to get stupid. I keep finding level 5 Bethides Ibex trying to get respawns for these southeastern. So I came up here again, and what do you know? There's a new 5, so it's right about 300 meters. We could use the tripod. I guess I should, just because I'm going to be coming back here to clear pressure again, I'm sure. But... I was thinking maybe I'd just stay at the cliff edge, but like I said, it's right about 300 and we're at the end of Ibex drink time, so I do need to kind of hurry up. I'll let him do the weird drink thing they've been doing. And that should be that. He's up to 224, which is around the same score as the other Diamond Bathidias have been, so I think he'll make it. If we could just get a 5 Southeastern to spawn doing this, that would be great, but... Yet another level 5 Bethides, and yet another diamond. This guy's, like, old diamond weight at 108.2 kg, though. Because the other ones were the weights of, like, a level 5 that ended up being a troll on the old system. This guy, though, he's the same score, is actually considerably heavier, so that's kind of cool. I still like the gray one better, but, yeah. Another one we can do something with. I think that's the highest score estimate I've seen on a Southeastern Ibex. 80 to 103. And he's actually in the max weight range, so if I don't use the bow, because that's not exactly going to be good for this, that's about 250 meters. I'm not even going to use the tripod because I wanted to get closer, but that should be good. And to be honest, if he makes it, I think I'm going to be 100% happy with that. I just wanted one that wasn't like way, way below normal diamond weight, and he should be okay. We'll have to see what he ends up weighing, but... Up to 103, I don't think I've seen any that big, so in theory he's bigger than the one we got, uh, both in weight and score. But I found that score estimate thing doesn't seem to work exactly every time. But I just know I haven't seen one go up to 103 before, so hopefully he's actually going to be a good one. And he is, he's 91.8, so he's bigger, but he's barely into the max weight range anyway, so... I don't really know what the deal is with these, but honestly I think this guy actually might look a lot better than our other ones, so... I think we're going to take that and be happy with it. I mean, we've killed three Diamond Bathides in the process of trying to clear hunting pressure to get respawns on these Southeasterns. I think we'll take that. And I just love the way this turned out. Like, the fact that we got the gray color Diamond Bathides and then the only Diamonds of the rest of these. Like, we had the Diamond Grados, which happened to be a gray, and then our Diamond Southeastern and Ronda were the redder color. I just think that makes for a really nice multi-mount. And I did look, because I have him hanging in one of the other rooms, our other Diamond Southeastern, which wasn't even the max weight estimate, was actually a gray one. So I'm really happy that we got the second one and he was a red color, because I just think that makes that multi-mount look so much better. But yeah, I've got him in that back corner. There's Diamond Ibex everywhere from this grind, and most of them are Bethides from clearing hunting pressure. But we have him there. We have this guy, which was shot a while ago, 198. And we have our two new ones, which we'll go and look at super quickly. They're down this way. We've got one in here, which is 195, and then another one from past uh, Ibex runs clearing pressure at 199.7. And then if we go into this room, we have this guy, which was 199.8, so slightly bigger than that other one. And he was the last one we shot, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Lots of diamond Ibex in this trophy lodge. Now, I thought I'd kind of spread them out, because I figured that would make the lodge look better, but the multi-mount, I'm just so happy with. I just think it turned out so good, but... Yeah, just in time because the little creator beta for Silver Ridge Peaks is actually starting tomorrow, so this will be my last video on the like current in-game maps for a little while, so the fact that we're actually completing another thing for the trophy lodge that I wanted to do is just perfect, but I don't know. I think that turned out really good, but I'm excited to get on Silver Ridge Peaks. Um, there will probably be a video and a stream tomorrow if I can manage it. The stream will be on Twitch, and of course the video will be here on the YouTube, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. And that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.